Thank you for purchasing a Ruark Audio R5. In this video, we're going to show you how to set up and get the most from your system. In your box, you will find the R5 wrapped in a protective cloth bag, the remote control with a battery, a telescopic aerial, an aerial spanner, a mains power cord, and a user manual. To begin, take your R5 remote control and gently prise off the magnetic base with the remote facing down. Slide the supplied coin cell into the battery slot, ensuring that the positive symbol is facing up, then reattach the base. Now screw the aerial onto the DAB FM socket on the back of your R5 and gently tighten using the supplied spanner. Be careful not to over tighten as this can cause damage to the socket and aerial. For best possible radio reception, fully extend the aerial upright. This is particularly important when first scanning for stations. Plug the mains power cord into the power socket on the back of your R5 and then turn the power switch on. When first powered on, the R5 logo will appear on the display. Do not touch any controls at this point as this is your R5 initialising and getting ready for setup. After initialising, your R5 will enter standby mode and the clock will show zeros. At this point, it is now OK to press the power button on top of the R5 to start the setup process. On the first screen, R5 will prompt you to set the language. Use the control knob or the arrow keys on the R5 to scroll to your language and then press the control knob to confirm. Next, R5 will show a privacy policy screen. This is to comply with the latest European GDPR regulations and is required by law. In simple terms, when you use sources such as Spotify or internet radio, then your listening preferences may be stored allowing quick access to music that you like. If you wish, you can read more about this on our website at ruarcaudio.com forward slash privacy. But to continue with setup, press the control knob to confirm. On the next screen, you will now have the option to pair your remote control. Select yes and then follow the instructions on the screen. It is important during pairing that you hold the remote control close to the right hand side of the display and keep the control knob pressed down. When your remote is paired, remote paired will appear on the display and the blue indicator light on the remote will light brightly. Once paired, you can now either use the controls on the R5 or the remote control to continue with setup. Whichever you choose, press the control knob to confirm. In the next part of setup, the screen will show the setup wizard. This takes you through setting up the date and time and also connecting R5 to the internet. Use the control knob to select yes. The first screen in the setup wizard allows you to set the time to either a 12 or 24 hour format. Choose your preference and then click the control knob to continue. The next screen allows you to control how you would like the time and date updated. If you live in an area with good DAB or FM reception, then we would suggest that you choose one of these for auto update, as the time and date will be quickly restored in the event of power being disconnected and also the time will automatically update when the clocks change in spring and autumn. If you think most of your radio listening will be done using internet radio, then you should select the default update from network. This means that you have the option to not connect the telescopic aerial. However, if you use update from network, you will need to change the time manually when the clocks change. For this video, we're going to set the time and date through the default update from network option. If you select update from network, you'll be asked to choose your time zone and whether you would like to turn daylight savings on or off. Use the arrow keys to make your selections and press the control knob to confirm. With the date and time setup complete, on the next screen you will be prompted to select your Wi-Fi region. Again, use the controls on the R5 or the remote to scroll to your selected region and then press the control knob to confirm. R5 will now scan for Wi-Fi networks nearby and then display a list. At the top of the list will be the option for a wired Ethernet connection, but for this video we are establishing a wireless connection. Again, use the controls on the R5 or the remote control to select your network and then press the control knob to confirm. 
If your wireless router has a WPS button, you can choose the push button method to connect to your network. However, in this example, we're going to connect by entering a password. In most home wireless networks, the password is usually shown on your wireless router or else it may be one that you have set yourself. It is very important that the password is entered correctly or else the connection will fail. Once you've entered your password, scroll to OK and then click the control knob to confirm. R5 will now establish a connection with your network and connected will be displayed on the screen once complete. Please note that the initial connection can take up to 30 seconds. When your R5 has finished setting up, Setup Wizard Completed will appear on the display. Press Select to exit the Setup Wizard. If you live in an area where digital radio is available, at this stage we recommend you perform a full DAB scan to complete the setup. Press the control knob to confirm DAB as your source to start the scan.